tired of them sometimes. <laughs> oh, sometimes. I think we feel. I don't care. Well, yeah, put a groundhog on it. It's meaningless. That's it. Things people get involved in. No wonder we're in such dire problems. <sighs> Okay, I want to say something first off to start with. I found out some information about shipping. And this is really only for our international customers. Wait until people show up. Okay. Wait until, yeah, wait until people, people show up. Show up. Um, you know, that's what the video is for. Uh, they can watch it whenever they want. So just yeah, but nobody's here yet. Shut yeah, nobody's up. here yet. Because they haven't seen the You know what? If you repeat him one more time, you can buy your own cigars. How's that? Why are you upset? Oh, me? I just get tired. It's like you're a lap dog. Earlier, he was on your side. No, yeah, he wasn't. I, yeah, I'm always on your side. You just never appreciate it. Then I jump off, off, and then you. Oh uh, my goodness. Then you go. Crop, then he goes crop dusting. Brian, you got. You need to see a counselor. That's all there is to it. But you won't do it till you're aware of it. I don't know why you're yelling at me. I'm doing my work. I'm doing my job. I'm trying to be nice to you. And you can't even be nice to a nice person. You and your great. I'm sick and tired of your great. You're going to make me want to eat something. Oh, boy. What is this label for? I thought for him, but we got to open the car. You got to check the cars here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I just can't wait till we get this whole thing financially managed with an application where we can see the big bucks coming in. Or make millions. Oh. All I see is millions. I said that was cinnamon, cinnamon Danish. I don't know why you don't. That's what I'm bought for. All right, so this is for our international customers. I went to our international customers. Uh, AJ, why don't you put more food in your mouth so he can understand you? Does he say that? Oh, that's exactly Brian, right. did you get the van out? Yes, I did. And I'm canceling my AAA. They have a, the stupidest rule that you have to only be 30 feet from the road. So I had to pay for it myself. I was so upset. Where was it? All the way by the two container. Now, can you deduct that from your business? Oh, Are everything's a write-off. You have to be 30 feet? Within 30 feet of the you, road. You should just wait until I came with my Jeep. I could have pulled you out. How much was it? With the winch? Do you have a winch? Yeah, what, who cares? I got toe straps. Yeah, but it, it took a lot. Oh, I got a pretty tough Jeep. Yeah. No, the, the guy was an expert. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly because my van was this far from the sea container. It slid to this far of the sea container. Uh, and he, uh, yeah, he was good. He was a professional. He, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. He was inside getting himself warm. Okay. What a putz. I stuck my head out. It was, it, the guy was a professional. I like my new, uh, bum, 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 bum. Hey, we gotta do some jazz today. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, go, 
Um, you got international, you should get to DHL. Explain that again, because I think you got cut off. Yeah, I did because you kept interrupting me. Okay, so this is for international, okay? And this is if you're going to buy something over, um, over two pounds, okay? Um, we really just want to uh, uh, exclusively use DHL. Now, DHL is a little more expensive, but they are super fast. I shipped an item to, uh, to London. Norway, was it? Where we ship it? England? UK. Huh? UK. The UK, I shipped it last Thursday. That means, like, I took it to the facility on Thursday. They got it yesterday. Yesterday. They got it yesterday. That means it went all the way. It had to travel all week. It had to travel on Saturday and Sunday to get to uh, England. And then it was delivered on Monday. <clears throat> so I want. I really want to use DHL for all internationals. AJ oh. said you need to get some more in your mouth so they can understand you better. So just here. Here's another one. And then just keep this on the side. There again. And just when you're talking, make sure you put food in your mouth first. I do like my orange juice, though. <laughs> Good cracker. Good cracker. Well, let's see here. Kind of a slow day today. No, it's actually been very busy and productive. Well, it's no, see, he doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a typical minion. Hey, U of M, thanks. For, thank you very much for the cigars. U of M, thank you for the yes, car. That's thank the you. That was really, you thank know you. what I'm really upset about? We should have got a group picture before he left. Oh, yeah. Really we should have got a group picture yeah. with Ted. That would have been awesome. Next time you come, remind you. Well, I'll remember that, but. I'll we remind should, you. Whenever fans come, we need to get a picture with them. But U of M, that we We're had friends. the uh, okay. What, last night we had the 101. Oh, did you have it? Yeah, we had one of the cigars. It was the 101 torpedo, but it was the 101 11th anniversary. It was very good, very rich, very rich. Had a nice cedar taste to it. It had a little bit of a chocolate. Uh, he he has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, what it tasted I, like. it was I, 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 it, 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 it had was nothing, delicious. It had nothing. You know, number one, you don't eat a, a, a cigar. No, but you can smell. No, the, you can't the flavor. No, you and, can't and the, eat a smell. You and, well, it's eleventh anniversary, and the, behind the one hundred and one. 11th anniversary, Matt Booth makes those. And then he did 1,000 box edition. That was it. A special 1,000 box edition with 20 cigars per box. So it was pretty, very good. Thank you very much. It was very thoughtful. We're going to have the Padron, the Padron Sunday night for the Sunday night flick. And I'm excited about that movie, The Cosmic Monsters, because guess who's in it? My, one of my favorite all-time B sci-fi Forrest Tucker. Right? What happened? So thank you, U of M. Does something uh with No, actually that cigar I don't was know why just, Can I finish a sentence without you always interrupting me? It was No, shut up. Was, shut I, up. I need to finish no, no, I am I was talking first. You were talking You need to relax. No, I get up. sick and tired of him constantly interrupting right in the middle of a sentence. That is rude. No, I, I just get tired of it. I get tired of him right in the middle of a sentence. He just interrupts. Tell me where that is normal in a society. You do it all the time. Mandy, I do not. You do it all the time. Mandy just texted me and said, tell your dad to chill out. Oh, I get, oh, oh, man. 
Good grief. I think I'm leaving early today. Tell you, tell you, tell you. I can't keep up with this. They said I'm looking forward towards movie night. Uh, U of M. Oh, this might be for me and I'm not Brian Young, Pro Tinker. Hey, how you doing, Brian? Good. Hold on one second. I got to... Hold on. Which comment? They're all freaking out. They probably are. Hello. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. I My phone's all messed up. Go ahead, though. Yeah, I'm trying to order some track. Okay. Uh, this is this is Keith from out of Lancaster, PA. Okay, what track are you looking to order? Uh, all I got is what numbers are on this little piece of paper from Scale Electric. Uh, a bunch of essays. Uh, um, no, what, what Scott? What what scale? Oh, one thirty-four. We okay, one, one thirty-two. I mean, I'm sorry. One thirty-second. Yeah. And is it on our website? I got to be here a lot just to get everything smooth. Uh, what do you mean? Is it? I bought it off of you. Okay, I, I guess I'm confused. What? What? what okay. What is your? Did you already place an order? Or are you wanting to do a new order? No, I want to do a new order. Okay. And what's your first name? My first name is Keith. Good thing we opened this. It's got a white car in it. Does it? Yeah. Uh, what last name? Schrader. Schrader. Yep. All righty. Let's see. Oh my gosh! Yes, I. I <laughs> I'm sorry. This track wasn't going to be big enough. <laughs> Okay, so um, all the um, all the track starts with a letter C. You're got the you have the the uh, the the um, the Arc Pro. Yeah. And you want to add more track to it. Yeah. Okay. Do you have the i the the uh, the 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 uh, item number and what quantities you want? Well, the only piece of paper I got here is a piece of paper to show you how to put it together. And it's got all kind of SAs and Cs and CEs. Okay, all the, all the track starts with the letter C, and then it's, it's usually an 8 2 um, you know, a four digit number, 8204, 8205, 8222. They don't give you that information. Is that really how you spell it? I don't think. Yeah. If they do, that looks too easy. I don't know where it would be. Uh, so, is the is the layout you're trying to design, was it included into the box? Or are you are you creating your own land? And that's I'm sorry for being so confusing, but I'm just oh, trying to. Gotcha. Well, you're not being confusing. I understand what you're saying. But you, are you no, trying I to? Already, I already set the track up the way the manual told me to set it up. Now I'm building my own. Right. And I have to build. I went off another diagram that was this, but I want to make make it longer. Got it. Okay, so, so you're probably going to want some straight track. Yeah. Correct. Um. If you're going to do it, foot altogether. if you're going to get straight, you're going to want to get a couple more switches and and some more straight track. If you're wanting to make it larger, yeah. What do you mean by switches? Well, those are the things that the cars switch lanes. Oh, because okay. you yeah. ha your set has two in it, two in it. It came with two switches, or actually, no, I think it came with four switches. Well, it came with two. Well, the pit one, it has. Yeah, it came with two switches. Well, the pit is not a switch. It just, you're just pulling yeah. into the pit. All right, so you have two switches. So it's an offset figure eight. And so buying straight track uh, right at the, uh, uh, you could extend it out uh, on both sides. Um, 
if you're wanting to do that. Yeah, that's um, what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop, pop my two corners off. Yes, exactly. And so you could buy... In between there. That's the goal. But I guess I would need two switches, which is G, E, something or other. Yeah, hold on, Mike. Um, Does he get a label? Mike? That's the crushed car. I wish I had a copy of all the numbers. I'd make it a hell of a lot easier for you. I'm sure. Not right now. I mean, I got to. Uh, how much snow did you guys get? Uh, you the the well, you know, with Northwest Ohio is is really weird uh, for snow. Either we get a lot, but then it drifts. Okay, so we might get inches but it will drift to you know a foot or something and so like schools have been closed now last two days because of drifting drifting is it will blow you know for 20 miles you know and just pile up in one area okay <laughs> that's what's different about northwest ohio it's flat and it drifts you know that damn wet you can walk on the top of it and you don't even go through it correct i mean it just it just Pepps up a snowblower like you wouldn't believe. It does, yes. All right, so Mike, what was your last name again? Crater. S C H R A D E R. Michael, or would it be Michael? No, it's Keith. Oh, Keith. I'm I'm just losing my mind. No, I am. Thank you. No, I am losing my vibe. I've got my son. I got my brain waves out today. My bro. Oh, I know. My brother's just. He's just. He's very rude. He's a rude person. Keith Schrader. Here we go. Pennsylvania Lancaster. Okay. So you're going to want two switches. Well, here's here's what I here's what I recommend. Okay, I mean, and you can get whatever you want, but okay. So I'd get the the C seven zero three six. That's the change lane. Okay. That's two of those. And I'm just recommending, so you can take off, and then. Oh no 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 no! That's you're correct. I definitely am going to want more. Later, you're going to want more switches yeah. later on, okay? Uh, yeah. So then your straight track, just get a, uh, the best on the straight track is, um, uh, I've got a different ways on the straight track. Um, you get two, two for 14, um, you know, so you, you get, you know, if you want, um, how many pieces of straight track do you want? Six pieces. They come in group packs of two. So. Okay. You want They're six. how long? Uh, about 18 inches. Okay. Uh, Four of them. Send me six. Twelve. Six packs of straights and yep. two switches. Switches. Now, another piece that I really like a lot, and I, I just like it because it's fun, uh, it's analog switch, it's a, it's, it's a crossover curve, okay? And it's great because even though you're using a digital, the cars are going to be switching lanes on the curve, which is really good. And, you know, so whoever gets to the curve first can go from the outside to the inside lane, okay? All right, send me that set up then, too. I look at tracks sort of like I look at my fishing lures. You can never have too much of it. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably own 2,000 fishing lures, and I probably use five, you know. Now, why is that? Well, there's about 700 of them I don't use because they're old wooden, wooden hand carved ones. I collect those. Really? Yeah. They're they're getting very very hard to find. What are they made out of? Oh, 
they can be made out of cork. They can be made out of wood. It's something that, you know, years back, back say like in the 30s and 40s, you didn't buy lures. Lures were all handmade. Really? And that's what I try to find. I collect those and I collect uh, old fishing license. Old fishing license? Damn. Yeah. At one time, the state of Pennsylvania had a pin. Really? Instead of a piece of paper that goes in your wallet or you used to hang on your hat, they used to have a pin, a button pin. And I collect those. I buy those up when I can find them. Unbelievable. Isn't that amazing? Everybody's got a different hobby. People forget about Oh, they do. They bought a black card track because everybody forgot about them. Yep. You know, and it's like, and now everybody's getting into it. It's crazy. It, it is, it is unbelievable. I'll be right back. My friends, I mean, I got a beautiful immaculate pool table, brand spanking new. Okay. Uh, I spared no expense when I bought it. I bought the best balls, and believe it or not, pool balls <laughs> can really run into some. Uh huh. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know. Really? Unbelievable. All right, so you've got uh, two changeovers. You've got uh, uh, basically 12 straights, one curve track. And that is the, and that's your, your extension right now. Now, I mean, I, I, and, I, and I wouldn't be a good salesman if I didn't say, I mean, we've got other, uh, another track expansion, which is the, um, uh, the chicane. It's a chicane, uh, chicane straight. It's basically, um, uh, chicane is, it, it, it tightens the, um, uh, the straight lane. It just, you know what it is? It, it's just different um, uh, uh, obstacle course on the track when you're racing. You know, and oh, they <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to use your gates when you're just <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Redneck, oh. <laughs> Well, it seems like the whole country's. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> um, okay, so you got the straights, you got the switches, and you've got the curve, uh, uh, curve switch for the for a curve. So. That's two sixty six plus fifteen in shipping, so you're at two eighty one eight ninety one. No, I don't keep it on file. We don't keep it on file. Well, I, I know that, but it's not something I feel ethically right about doing. Yeah. All right. Go ahead when you're ready. Yep. 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 His is good. I got all the cars in it. This is Chucky B's. This one's got to be. Okay, hey, what's. You know, that might fit in that box. No, I'll, I'll put it. I need that box. Yeah. Who's is that for? Uh, 
I'm making chips, so it's a burger collection. This is different, something different? Yeah. Now, what do you do for a living? Oh. You want that? Is that going to fit in oh. All three of them? Yeah, but I oh, okay. a little paper in the bottom just for... I don't know why. <laughs> That's how old I am. I'm kind of retired in a sense. I mean, I, I'm 61 and... Really? Hold on. I typed in something wrong. I need that uh, stuff again. Here, Ryan, could you? Oh, he's on the phone. Ah, shoot. Hold on. All right, let's try this again. Give me the card number again. Fallen. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You need me or something? No, I got it. I just keep looking at it. <sighs> no, I know that. Okay, what's the expiration again? And the CVB number? It's James Murray. said he sent more coffee grinds. All right, good. All right, this will probably go out today. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I, I'm almost positive I got everything. Um, and uh, so you did not, you don't have a degree then in engineering, huh? Really? Really? They sponsor only three Yeah. That's what he said earlier. <laughs> oh my gosh, you got to come here for the day. And you have to basically stand behind my brother and <laughs> you have No 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 That's right. Oh you guys? Yeah. Exactly. Oh yes. What are you doing? What is it? Tell us. Okay, okay, I'm on lunch. I gotta go back to watch you guys. Unbelievable. Yeah, I want to confirm it's the print. Okay, I'm on lunch. It's James on. Murray. He said, I ordered a Morrow. Could you put that on the previous one, please? That's the one. Yeah, no, I know what you so mean. So, James, don't ship yours out. I'm going to put James M. sign. Oh, that's interesting. So you're a time management specialist. Oh, I need to talk to him. I know. That's why I'm saying. Keith With needs, you. No, no. To teach no, you Keith, how to do that. No, Keith needs to come here and show yeah. you because you're a millennial idiot. Oh, my. You, and you watch the live stream? Showed up at your place. What? I'm sorry. You the, the, the phone disconnected for a second. Repeat what you just said. I said, if I ever showed up at your place, I would be the strangest guy that ever showed up at your place. Oh, no. No, 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 we need you to come. You know what I'd show up on? What? The 2001 Electroglide with matching sidecar. Electroglide, that's a, isn't that a, that's, a that's hot? biggest of the Harley. 
Yeah, oh, wow. Well, that's all right. With a sidecar? Oh, that'd be sweet. We have ah. matching sidecar. I'm... Then, I also own, then I also own a uh, 97 Harry Softail, all mint condition. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you know, well, we're going to have a big slot car fest. Got to come. Uh, in in August or uh, pro August or June, we're gonna have a big slot car fest. We're gonna do slot cars, uh, off road racing, model rocketry. We're gonna have a lot of big tent and everything. So we're gonna have anybody that can show up. We're gonna invite to. So yeah, last time I was in Ohio was well, my son went to college out in Ohio. He went to uh, Tuskegee University. Oh, all righty. And which he's not in college anymore, which pisses me off. But but you didn't go to college. I didn't go to college, but I'm a hell of a lot smarter than he is. He thinks he's he, he thinks he's not going to have to work as hard as I did. Huh. When we both know that. That ain't never true. Oh, no, boy, I tell you that. Don't work hard, you don't get shit. No, you don't. You got to work 25. Hey, I've had four businesses. Get back to snow blowing, buddy. All right, take it easy. Bye bye. Give me a call next week. I'll buy more. All righty. Hey, Ryan, you need to call him next week. You'll buy more. All right, let me pull this. Okay, this guy, we need to call him. Hey, James. This guy James, Burr, is that a new batch of coffee you're talking about? Like beans or something? Instead of the ground? Because we did get the other coffee, I mean, with the cup and the cookies. But are you talking about a new batch? <clears throat> hey, Tim, what's the over and under on the Super Bowl? Not, don't care. Super Bowl's gone this year. Uh. No social lecturing, no fans, no football. Okay. Um, question, Rod. Rod, if you're there, did you want, I need to know for some of the prints, did you want me to sign it? I don't have to. I usually don't. I'm not a print signer, but I can. But I just need to know before I put them in the rolls if you guys need them signed. Or whoever's made specific print orders. I got James signed. Mob guy. What happened now? No, I was just checking with Rod and then James on the coffee. Uh. Adam wanted to know what's the over and under of the Super Bowl. I, I don't care. What is over or under? The over or under of the Super Bowl. I don't what do you care. mean over or under on the Super Bowl? The score. You pick a score. You're over. Brian Young. Yeah, Brian, it's Gary from uh, Connecticut, Norwalk, Connecticut. Uh, speaking to you. Hey. No. No, no, no. It's it's good. I've been working on it, so that's why it's. Yep, yep. Uh, you already sent mine, I think, Tim. Ron Henderson. You already sent his, Ron said. Oh, Rod? Ron. Ron Henderson. Right here. Ron Henderson says you already sent mine, Tim. Yeah, I'm like almost there. Rod, yep. whatever his name is. Name's Rod. It's called R-O-D. Well, you think it is. R-O-D, Rod Henderson. You already sent mine, I think. Oh. You think you sent it. Maybe I did. Should be honest. Yep, yeah, I did. Whose pizza's in the refrigerator? That's Brian's or Ryan's. So oh, I just no. I didn't. But let that me know. We'll resend you something. That's I, real healthy. I did. It's a it's a healthy pizza piece. There's no pizza's not healthy. That is with a certain bread. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, U of M says, has he ever got your name correct, Rod? <laughs> he couldn't 
can't spell, can't read. Well, I can't watch subtitled movies with them. Tonight we're going to watch a subtitled movie, but I don't want to have to read it the whole time. Hey, do you, Gary said, do you carry brushes and the little stupid springs for the old AFX Magnatraction cars? You got to read these because these are questions for you and I'm not paid to read. Eight show is not one thirty second, is it? Is eight show one thirty second? Little Springs XP five hundred. That's what you want to buy right there. XP five hundred. Is one thirty second HO? Yeah. No, one thirty second is one thirty second. It's the bigger car. Do they have a red baffle deal? No, they're coming out with a bat. Um, SC or Scale Electric's coming out of the Batmobile. Because Rod Henderson says, I want a 132nd red Batmobile, Tim. Well, you have to buy the black one, and then we'd pay it. So there's a 132nd black Batmobile out? Not yet. Whether this yet. year, SC or Scale Electric's coming Could out Could you one. put some more food in so I can understand you better? Ha! U of M said he started watching Cosmic Monsters last night. I think the retirement has gotten to him. U of M, don't watch it. You can't watch it till we watch it as a as a group. Uh, Steve yep. Stroud said, "Could you please put more food in your mouth and then start talking?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Rod says, people always do Ron, Rob, and the like my whole life. Huh. It's Ron, not Rod. Okay, whatever you say, Brian. Whatever you say. <laughs> it's not Ron. Yes, Brian. Whatever you say. I'm not oh, Rod. Argue. It is. I said Rod. I'm not going to argue with you anymore. DOD, make gray ships. Uh, Ray sets ship out yesterday. George wanted to know. George, what um, DOD make I'll DOD make Ray sets ship out yesterday, Brian? Now, you have been. Why did you have to mention Cosmic Monsters now? Why did you have to bring that up? Because he's a customer. I know, but the problem is now it's going to get me starting to talk about Cosmic Monsters because Forrest Tucker's in it. It's a UK film. No, it's not. United Kingdom. It was an English movie. No. And it was made during the same time. In fact, it was. It came out as a double uh, flick, a double header flick. No, no. Two flicks. And guess what the second flick was? No, it didn't. The Crawling Eye. That's my one of my all-time favorites, Crawling Eye with Forrest Tucker. Yep, yep, true. I'm going to go get a, his check so we can mail that. Matter of fact, you can go ahead and tape that up. Which one? Hold on a second. No, no. Uh, let's see. Uh, these people these people talk to us like we haven't seen movies. Here's one that says, The Forbidden Planet. That's the movie you need to go see. Not only do we have all the VHS DD, DVDs, of it, I've seen it a half a million times. Well, they're just oh, yeah, the crawling eye. I, it's probably better than Cosmic Monsters. That crawling eye. See, I cannot get. Oh, in. I'm sorry. He I was asking me a question. I see. Okay. He was asking me a question. Oh, all right. Well, if you yeah, just I'll type the questions. What I'll do just, is I'll go in here and type questions. If you just be quiet sometimes, you, let people speak. Clean up your backyard first. Ah, <laughs> I finally, yeah. Why are you getting shipping done, okay? Instead of bloviating all day long.
well. Oh, we'll put this order here for him to do. I gotta wait on that. Gotta find a box for this. He's gotta find a box for that. All right. Well, let's see here. So we're gonna come out with, um, I came out with an idea. Uh, woke up like one o'clock in the morning, I had this great idea for some Bel Airs. And so I was thinking Bel Air heat, and I'm gonna have two Bel Airs in a box set, and they're gonna be uh, kind of like stock car looking, uh, you know, uh, from like the 50s, you know, some, some off the road, uh, road course, you know, guys just bringing their 55s, you know, for a, uh, you know, just a derby kind of, it's going to have mud all over the car and, and kind of rustic looking and all that. Just two Bel Airs, you know, uh, with, um, you know, two, uh, uh, decos with Steins on them and all that. Um, I just want to think outside the box. And so we're going to, those are going to be another exclusive we're going to do. You'll see prototypes here in a couple of months. All righty, um, uh, overseas, $45. $45. Is everything in here? Yeah, everything's in there. I got to run to the post office. I'm sure it's in here, though. Yep. Uh, all correct. All right. <laughs> yeah, just double check it. Do we have a bag for the post office? Uh, no, it's all... I just took, I took it over earlier. Why do people wear their masks in their cars?
right. Tim, you're the star right now. Ah. Whenever you do that, you got to go into your art stuff and you got to no, break it. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't These know. These guys you are all screaming and yelling at me to get to work. But I just love that painting. I do too. Okay, I they get, they yell at me if I'm not working. They work, yell at me if, when I'm working. Tim, when do I ever yell at you for not working? That's nah, your exactly. Your loony well, guess what? Dad. Guess what? what the happened? boss is here. Okay. <laughs> so the real don't boss. Don't worry about it. The real boss. Thank U of goodness. M, take a break. Um, see, U of M said take a break. Yeah, Freaks is a 93 too. That's a that's a, that's a creeper for sure. I need what, a lot of real people in it. What box did you give me for real actors. those three cars again? What size? The uh, eight six. You're so good. Like that is a skill. Knowing the sizes like. Oh, you do. give me a break. Uh, don't start with that, Tommy. Oh. You of them said uh, Brian's seat is open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took the. Uh, oh no, there it is. Oh no. I should sit down. You, you deserve to. No. The way he treats people. Is it people. Dad's phone? I don't know what phone it is. He's got so many phones ringing. Nothing's organized here. It's just always a disarray. And then he gets all flustered, mad, and then he gets screaming and yelling. It's just, it's the same old, same old. I just smile. I just tell him, clean up your own backyard before you lecture somebody else. Too many years dealing with his mumbo jumbo. Yeah, what are you going to do? Just put up with it. We're having a blast, though. If you think. Oh about yeah, it. it's a blast. When he's not around. Ooh, I like that him. painting. Okay, this has got to sell today or tonight. Yeah. Which one? Three fifty. This is the Badlands That's National it? 350? Park. Three hundred fifty dollars, not three dollars and fifty no, cents. No, three hundred fifty. Let me get the. Cat. No, your I'm wife. And, it. No, your wife's gonna kill you. Buy for Valentine's. When's Valentine's? If anybody's been to the Badlands National Park, it's pretty awesome. I was there as an artist in resident, 2006, I think it was. If somebody doesn't buy it, I was buying it, darn it. Where's the. <laughs> Would you. You need to get a monitor. You don't need to be buying artwork. Why are you put that, that. I bring in a painting a week just to give a little culture to my brother since he's kind of. <laughs> He doesn't really understand. He's using wrong terms, wrong words. All right, Tim, how much? Let's get this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that, okay, that, so we got to get him his money. I'm look and see if this is, it's not real. Oh, gotta, well, why can't, is the door open? Because he's, we're buying the painting. It's on sale. No, he's not. We're, he's, he's just, oh, I'm not it's a, explain it. I'm not even going to explain it. Got to go. Hey, get the thing. He's back. Take this Nobody thing called. out of my face. 1932. It was from a from a short story. Um. Who? You can roll that back over. It's because I don't. Why you always like it on your? No, he you need to he, get Pro Tinker toys up there. Can he brought it over to me. Because you're supposed to go over your arm. I was or... working on this packing. Shipping. I gotta get some lunch. Nice hat, Tim. Ryan says that one more time. I'm gonna shoot him. Yes, it's a nice hat. Robert Fish. It's Robert an awesome Robert. hat. This is my new hat for the rest of my life. All right. I am getting it all Great done. idea, Ryan. Well, From well, U of M. Oh. Whatever the idea was. I was like, well, what was my idea? Adam said Brian would buy it and destroy it. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> the painting. <laughs> yes, Chucky B. Actually, hey Ryan, Chucky B. This is the crushed car plus the fly container. Oh, I think he's talking. But Brian, Ryan said you might have ordered something else. Chucky B's on, and he wanted to know about packs by crush car and cases. Good. 
Uh, coffee, cars, and coffee. What are those? Do they, they're in shipment, or are they almost here? Or what's the? So this can go out to Chucky e. B. What's the arrival yeah, date? Uh, let me get. Everybody's asking. Can you do a quick video for Insta for for this too about it? Yeah, let me just videotape it for Insta too. I can't. See, man, man, he had a nice comment, but I can't. See yep, it. redo your painting. All right, ready? Do you have pictures of it you could hold up while you're doing this? No. Yeah, the cars and coffee, the SC360, they are sh they shipped yesterday. When when should they arrive? They should arrive four days, four to five days from Washington. And then a restock of SC360. Uh, um, oh, you're getting the 62? No, wait a minute. The 360 is the cars and coffee. That's yeah. what I'm getting. 355. The 355. I'm getting the 355. Which one of those ones? Um, those are the legends of the uh, slot car legends, the ones we sold out of. The Daytona, the Plymouth Roadrunner, and the Chevelle. So when's the coffee pre-order is going to go? This, well, they could go Friday. No, which time, when are they going to do pre-orders? When are you allowing pre you, I thought you had done pre-orders weeks ago. I already listed them. <laughs> yeah, but that's just to... Get people on it. They didn't yeah, well, they're not buying them. Are they? Do, are they available to buy right now? No. Then you put. A, I told you. To, Here, wait, wait. Do this. Ready? No, I told you two weeks ago. That's why we haven't had any sales on these cars. So you want the pre-orders to go live right now? I think that's a good idea. I told you to do that a week ago. That you're so stupid sometimes. Tell them I, to subscribe, Pro Ticket Toys, and buy them now. Mine, subscribe, go to Pro Ticket Toys right now, get the SC360 cars and coffee. I told you to do these listings live a week ago, two weeks ago, when I put them on. Do you want your medication now? All right, this is going to be good. That's going to be a good one, guys. Do you want your medication before lunch or do you Man. want it after your lunch? Looks like I'm turning them to pre-order. You're going to put that on as a live? Oh, yeah, it's going to be oh, lunch. Oh, you sick. Hey, Chucky B said don't, 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 don't worry about the, uh, the coffees right now. I can wait for no, honestly, I thought you put these for sale a week ago because I listed them almost two weeks ago. So we could have generated sales for these over the last two weeks. And you just, you totally go, don't give me excuses. You we, totally negated the whole we program. Talked, we <laughs> talked about this, okay? I put them up so people can bookmark and find them. I get the word out. And then, and then, when it were about a week away, I and, put them and, live and, for pre orders and other people could find them other places and buy them too. Nobody well, they could have just bought them right Nobody from me. Them. Nobody can get them. We they, have them. They're the only ones. I'm turning them live right now. All right, partner? No, not partner. <laughs> Chucky B says he could take this now, so I need a label. All right. Uh, the crushed car, the flying container. No, I'm not selling these crushed cars anymore. What are we, crazy? This is going to him because it, you, you agreed to it yesterday. I give up. Somebody had me get the layaway thing and then they never bought it. Why is this here? Oh, since I'm going to be here all the time now, I figured it'd be a good time to finally make a TikTok. Are you, what do you think of that? Yeah, it's China. I know. I would. This is where we get all of our clients from. Yeah.
Do you have the order sheet for that, just so I can check, double check the numbers? Not right here. 240? What do you mean, 240? It's two SC360, cars and coffee. No, I'm seeing how many. There's 48. 240. What do you mean, 240? No, that's 400. I doubled that. Oh, okay, good. I can just leave it the way it is then. <clears throat> so that way the pre order. Okay. You should have had these up a while ago. Honestly, I, I don't think that was smart. <laughs> Salami peanut butter. And notice I cut That's it. That's totally disgusting. No, it's hard salami. No, I don't care butter. what it is, but you don't put peanut butter on yeah. salami. No, it's a it's a delicacy. Oh, you're a delicacy. And I, a I cut it like the pic I cut it like the old days, the old gangster movies with this the sandwiches are always cut like with that triangle. Kind of cool. Mmm. Hard salami peanut butter. On seven sprouted bread. Make you one? Oh boy. And if what's his name says liverwurst on rye with onion. Well, guys, I'm gonna head home. <laughs> ah. <laughs> AJ's back. Eat something and talk to him. I don't need to talk to anybody anymore. No, you got, oh, the DHL. AJ's on. AJ just came on board from Malaysia. So talk, mention the uh, DHL again to international. Well, no, we're just shipping. Now. I'd like to be shipping all international shipments by DHL. It's, yeah, it's Brian Young, Pro Tinker. Good. What is it? What is it? Uh, who are you with again? Oh, yes, a pickup. Yes, I got a, a package for you. Yeah. So I'm talking to DHL right now, guys. Yes. Yes, I, I got one box here. Yep. No, 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 that's fine. We, we, I talked to him. He said by five o'clock that he, he, uh, that's about what the time is going to be. Yeah, that's fine. And we were hoping to do a lot more shipping. I'm talking to my international customers right now, uh, on, on our YouTube live feed because we want to do more DH, DHL for our international customers because it's much quicker. So, You'll see more shippings from us over the next couple weeks. I will. I will. I'll do that this time. Yep. No problem. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a, thanks for calling, too. Bye. Okay, so that was DHL. So DHL, I shipped their shipment on Friday or Thursday. Basically, it, it left Friday. And it got to England Monday. That means yesterday. Just telling you. So any international shippings, I'd like to do H DHL. Now it's more expensive, okay? But it's all about money. It's all about time. It's all about how fast you want it, okay? You could spend, think about it. You could spend an extra $25 getting your stuff to you really fast, or you can go out to dinner and spend $25. It's all money no matter what you talk about, okay? And this guy has no clue what money really is. And you could say he has money. never gone out to di dinner by himself at a fine restaurant, ever. Actually, that's not okay? true. Okay, well, but I unless like I've taken him. No. <laughs> that's not true either. <laughs> All right, he has so no idea what I good. used to do. All right, Somebody so get on and order and see So cars working. and coffee are listed. Um... Cars and coffee, those have the... Um, AJ said customers. I thought we were all family. We are families. You must use the word customer with the DHL. I know we are customers, though. We're a customer. Our customer. Damn, you, you mean... You are hey, a customer. Robert Fish just said, can you get me a price for the DHL wireless today? 
What do you mean detail no, wire? Right. Can you give me a price for the JL? Wireless. Oh, wireless. Um, um, $19.99. AJ said with my currency, $25 is a lot. Lots of laughs. Brian Young, Pro Tinker. I came across the free tech support, and I was just wondering if you might be able to answer a few questions. Hold on. Absolutely. Hello? That's what we're all Hello. about. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I have a uh, Richard uh, Auto World Richard Petty versus Isaac. Yes. Uh, break set, and uh, my uh, Richard Petty car was squealing, and I took it apart, cleaned it. Got the hair away from the axles and the wheels and the gears and all that stuff and everything. Put it back together. It was working fine. Then it started squealing again and kind of jumping and hesitating. So I opened it back it's up, got to looking at it. It was still clean. There was no hair or nothing. And I kind of lubed it a little bit. The only thing I had was some Vaseline. I put a little bit in there, moved it around, moved the gears around. No, never it's use that. Never use Vaseline. Never use Vaseline. Okay. All right. What's the best thing to use? Goo gone. It's good. Goo gone. Go to a uh, Home Depot, your detergent aisle, or your detergent aisle, and you'll find goo gone there. Okay. Yeah, I know about that stuff. Yeah. Okay. It's really good to keep. That. It's clean. It keeps the car clean, clean, clean. So what's the car doing right now? Well, right now it's uh, it's still squealing and uh, it, it's still hesitating. Get that like uh, it's and stop and start and stop it. You want to get that goo gone on there and, and get the uh, gears and everything cleaned out. And make sure the brushes are clean, too, that you haven't got that Vaseline inside there, too. Now, cars do, each car will perform differently than one car, okay? So your, your chassis do need to be maintained or a little tweaked, okay? And that means cleaning, uh, taking them apart, um, making sure there's no foreign objects inside which can get in there in the manufacturer but you want to um do a little bit of pre-maintenance of the car and 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 spray it down with some goo gone okay all right all right that sounds good now that i know that and then i have two up to figure out what's the best thing to use and then i have tune-up kits too that you i i recommend you get a couple tune-up kits just so you'll have them uh you know to how keep, much are those they're 9.99 all right, hold on. Uh, can I place an order with you right now? Yeah, you can do it. And also, we have we have extra chassis too. We sell uh, spare chassis that you can get. A lot of people will carry a couple chassis just to have them. Okay, let me give you to my son, and he'll take care of it. Okay. What are we doing? He's gonna get a couple tune-up kits and maybe some chassis. As uh, do you have an account? no, he doesn't. He's a new customer. Okay, I gotta do something real quick here. This needs to, this is going to Australia, so this thing here needs to be packed up correctly. Is this going to DHL? No, I can't. Why can't you? Because you didn't pay for it. Oh, gotcha. I'm letting people know as of today that... Why don't you provide free DHL shipping?
What if they can make a write off? Hold on a second on that. I, I gotta get. I'll hold. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that sometime. <laughs> and then what's your email? What's that? And uh, um, um, that's terrible. Keep all of this right. As long as you're patient, I'll be in it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, we're getting you um, some tune ups. Hey, your info. Like, right? We can pack that too. All right. Tell me what, boss. We got. Hey, Brian, okay. uh, AJ, Ray Brian, I forgot to tell you, AAFX, re reach out, reply in my email about my AFX controller yeah. issue. They said they will send a replacement controller to me and ask for my address. Remember back last week when... Yeah, thanks, AJ. Uh, and keep me abreast if you do get it. I'd like to know if you do get it. That's important. I just want to make sure that, that they're taking care of their customers. So thank you very much, AJ, on that. So people that are overseas, uh, I would rather uh, you use DHL. It's a little more expensive, but you'll get it quicker and less hassles. You might still hold on this rifle. Yeah, well, I want to. I think I want to bubble. Oh, I just don't know how to ship that. Uh, well, I got a bubble wrap. Like I don't want to. I don't want to. I. I, I okay. Don't okay. Send it in Let that me card thing. this. What was the tune-up kits I'm getting them? Which got, uh, the four gear? The four gear. They're not tune-up. The uh, uh, extraction. This will get there because I'll pack this really good with the no, bubble wrap. It says so we have near zero in stock, but we got those right. Hold on a second. Um, and then. Trying to look up the item, I'm not even that good. You had the Richard versus uh, Buddy Baker. Okay, yeah, that one was a hot one. Oh my goodness! I got one left. I got one left. One left. I mean, the four gear will work. Uh, they're, they're pretty much the same. It's just they have different tires in them. Now, we only have one, one kit left of this. Oh, the, the pit kit. Yeah. Don't get the new, the other kits in stock again. You can use the four gear pit kit. Just the tires are a different size for, for future. And then what's the? 
Are the tires bigger or smaller? Bigger. They're bigger. The rear tire is bigger. These are bigger? No, the, the, the Ford tires are bigger. are bigger. So you could squeeze these on? You could, yes. Okay. So cute. The bridge support? Bridge support, which one? Huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice one. Bridge kit. You mean the red posts? They're flags and flags and something. What what would be some bigger tires for the the flames, the Chevy flames, the Subaru, the flames, the Chevy Subaru what tires would that be? The Suburban, nineteen fifty seven Chevy Suburban blue flames. Oh, the, the, uh, that would be a uh, that would be a um, uh, the um, Audible Texas Mega Lot Texas. Post and flags, right there. Supports and flags. Okay, we got them. No, he wants, he wants the, um, he wants the um, Thunderjet tune-up kits. Those will have tires. The duct tape. He has bigger tires, though. He wants some big fat ones for that Subaru or Suburban. What would you? He's gonna look at because uh, we have gel claw tires, and Robert Fish is gonna beat me up because I still haven't organized those tires right. We're live streaming right now. I was just showing the camera because I got I got friends on there who uh, <laughs> they need me to get it organized. And I just haven't gotten the website organized yet because it's so busy, which is good. We're blessed to be busy, but it's just tough. I've been coming in early trying to get it done. It's it's organized. It's up and running, isn't it? ST 2010. Which one? ST 2010 gel cloths for Thunder Jets. And these will be a much slicker so car. These, so these are uh, 899. Do you want Yeah, right there, ST2010, two in stock. Let me go, what am I typing in wrong? ST. Oh, because you got the line on it. Here, put, or no, no, you're fine, it's, it's not wrong. So it is, it's like a pack of. 10 tires.
good. Set to draft. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't find it. It was driving me bonkers. I was looking right at it. And I'm like, come on. It, it. All right. It should be. Yeah, it's active. I know, I just change it. Yeah, it's... He picked up the... Yeah, I picked up the shorter one. Huh. And how much is it? Okay, so that is the return loop. So that won't be the actual drag strip. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Because we do have the return loop, and I, I mean, it is nice having that because you can obviously race the car around. But I mean, a lot of times, also you're you're um, you're going real fast, obviously, because you're drag drag strip racing. So I've seen all sorts of different setups. One guy built a sweet little box that catches the cars. I thought that was neat. So if you want the extra track, the return loop is a great option for getting track, I think. But then, um, okay, so it's called the Snake vs. Mongoose. It's the Legend of the Quarter. It's the Hot Wheels. Legend of the Quarter Mile. It's the one with the flames. It doesn't actually come with the tree, but it's 111 99 So it's a good, that's a good one. Yeah. And then... Yeah. What, let me see if I have the tree. I know we sell that stuff at some point. I'm out of the trees. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we should have out of the darn things. Yeah, it's been picking up. It's been hot lately. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not complaining. Yeah. Uh, 
so they're Metro Chase cars. Do you know any Metro Chase cars? He's trying to find out what scale they might be. What? Because there's 132nd, 143rd. What Metro Chase for what? He's He's got these cars. Are they the car? Golden Bright. You know a Golden Bright? Uh, yeah, they're a low end. Low end? What size are they, though? Do you know what size? Golden, oh, um, oh, man, um. Oh, I know what. Okay, yeah. What was it? Golden Bright is a, a knockoff 143rd scale 143rd. set. 143rd. 143rd is right in the it's a knockoff. It's a low end Chinese system. Oh, yeah. Career Go, maybe? It works on Career Go. That gun like that? Yeah, that's what we do. No, the gun, this is the rifle. Up, so it could have. The <laughs> rifle. It even pop yeah, up, you started saying. Because you want, I get one of that box is really packed, it, right? No, what I, it's not okay. that. I, it, was there any other questions? Trying to get the smaller package. Oh. All about cubic weight going overseas. And without the size? Can't. Yeah. Oh. Smaller, I know. Support it. A little bit of taking apart, putting back together, but and which car was it again?
New Bright's cars don't have any replacement. No, it's a chassis. What, it was the extraction chassis. It's just fishtailing more. It's fishtailing more than the other ones. Is it, there a way to yeah. fix that? No, it's just a magnet. It's just a ma it's magnets, magnets are more powerful than the other magnets. Oh, okay, so there's a variation between the magnets. So and that's just darn luck of unfortunately which one you're gonna get. Streaming now, we try to do it from 11 to whenever we can. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. You too. Like, oh, sweet, another one. It's all about the about the upsell, you know, Tim. Mm -hmm. I feel like this isn't the right track pack. There's no mm -hmm. flags in it. You gotta grab certain ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's three of them. Maybe I'll get a Ziploc bag and divide them up. There needs to be. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Do they want them red or gray? Yeah, I was indifferent about it. Brian Young. Hello. Hello. Is this Brian or Ryan? Brian. Brian, this is Bob over in Connecticut. I spoke to you Thursday or Friday about the 55. Yeah, I think it's the Ryan. Yeah, it's the Ryan. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the Ryan. And now what's this about? Got it. Okay, he's in the restroom. Give him a minute, okay? Just, just stay on hold here. I'm gonna put the phone over here and he'll he'll take it, okay? Is this right? Straight track? Is there in the boxes? Yeah. Six of six? No, there's there's eight in one and four in the other, which is a total of twelve. What's okay, what's the six of six? Six times two is twelve. I, they're two, two, you get two per, per person, but I have them in boxes, so technically right. we don't have to send them in this box. Well, I got it all, just keep yeah. it in there. Right. Um, okay. There's four in here, and there's eight in here. He ordered a total of 12. Two, six times two is 12. Yeah, I told him you were at the bathroom.
Okay, let's try your email. What's that? Perfect. Well, we got your email. So no worries, folks. But that's okay. We do my tab out. What's your first name? What's your last name? And those won't ship until they arrive, of course, I'm sure. So we, they are on the boat, they're on their way, um, but we heard that there are delays in customs right now. So we, we're kind of warning everybody, it's probably, it might need to be a little bit longer, but and that's in the description of the item. I tell everybody, you know, I've had a couple. Did I have a label for this one? Oh, no, you wanted to find out what it was. That's right. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I told everybody. Yeah. You want to wait? Okay, what's the okay. size of the box? So that's the main one that we use. And then I'm measuring right now. Oh, okay. uh, 25, 13, 12. What was this weight? 13.6 pounds. 13.6 pounds. Yeah, right? And then, uh, so 70, and that's 80, what the Frankenstein box. Cars you were looking at? I mean, we just had the call. Okay, oh, perfect, perfect. That, that shelving just came out. Uh, I'll call it oh, the okay. Frankenstein that's fair, that's box. Fair. What? Oh. What? What did the the cars and coffee look like? 
This could be DHL. So you don't put it on yet. I'm gonna get. I start the. That's okay. Here, what? what Which I is DHL? Is I'm oh, to uh, save it as a draft. And, oh. And okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? What do you do with him? <sighs> oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, too. All right. You too. Bye. All right. What were you going to say? No, no, I was just saying, uh, I'll call. Okay, so where are all these people? I'd like to know, where are all these people coming from now for these, for these calls? Some hey, this has been out now a month. So where are all these now people coming from? Some people don't live on their tablets like a lot of millennials do. Uh -huh. So they get on and they're just catching it now. That's all. Just a month, woo? Oh, yeah. 100%. That's not too uncommon. Is that the only thing we got? Yeah. Another styrofoam cup there. Can we microwave that? No. Here. This plate, I just put. All I did was put a sandwich on it and a... I don't care if you don't care. No, I don't care. You can use it. I don't care if you don't care. Oh. So I got to bring a plate? Go well, around the plate. Oh, Rick's going to be mad because I got to... Brian Young. Well, the fact of the matter is, especially when you're on a drag strip, your cars are, okay, so the drag strip is basically 14 feet of straight track, all right? And, uh, right, but what I'm getting at is, you're, you're full throttling your cars, okay? Okay. Uh, They shouldn't. That's odd. I mean, because...
Huh. Well, I mean, what I was getting at is okay. So if you're going, if you're, are you? Because uh, on a normal drive, okay. Uh, no, I mean, if you're just doing a, a, a serious, just running around the track, no, the cars don't should not always come off on a curb. But yeah, if they're full throttled or three quarters full. Okay, they're not designed. Don't I mean, they me. are a slot car, so they, the slot and the pin is what's holding the car on the track. And so, on a curve, your momentum is much more. Now, that's why they put magnets in these cars to give them more traction to the track. Okay, and some magnets are more powerful than others. Some have a better draw period or a, a draw to the track, which will keep the cars on track on the track better. Okay. Now, do they always stay on the track? No. Um, but but at a medium speed, yeah, they should stay on the track on a medium speed. Okay. It should turn. Yes, yeah, because they're an extraction. Those are extraction. And those should... Huh. And which, is it just one car that's doing this? Yeah, it shouldn't be all the cars. I mean, unless you're going too fast on the curve. I mean, you cannot go full throttle. And, and that's one of our biggest... Yeah, it shouldn't do that. I mean, it. it, it, it I mean, it, I mean, I've got hundreds of cars that <coughs> that I've demoed and showed people. You know, I've you know, you drive around now, and when you go full throttle, yeah, they're going to come off on a curve, but um, they shouldn't. Okay, and it's not. It, it's not the guide blade that's not. It's not doing it. It's it's uh, uh, sometimes if 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 it's catching, like sometimes. If your if your connections aren't completely flat, the car is there. There might be a, a bump, and so that will bump a car off the track a lot, on especially on curves. Okay, if if your connections aren't secure, and if you run your finger on or if you and you see a bump on the track, so when the car hits that bump, it's going to fly off, especially on a curve. Have you checked all your track connections to see if they're flat? I mean, the only other thing is that the, but I can't, I've never seen, you know, all the cars bad, magnets bad. That's just, that's never happened, okay? I mean, that's a, a, an extreme uh, to that extent. Um, I'm just, I'm just trying to. Th I know, I got to close the door, don't talk about it. What? You didn't get out yet. Nah, it shouldn't. But I mean, what I'm getting at is that when your car comes out of the, out of the, uh, the full throttle, okay. I mean, you really have to be almost at, at half the speed, not even half the speed, three quarters of the speed of what you were, because you are have you do have that momentum of your car going into the curve, and so it's just going to want to go straight off because of just pure momentum, um, yeah. and that's why some guys will. Uh, uh, adjust their their voltage. I mean, this is other guys that will add to their tracks and do different uh, technical things to them. But maybe get, some some guys will buy extra magnets. But I'm not. You don't necessarily have to do that. Okay. Um, sometimes the magnets get dirty. You want to keep the uh, clean. Um, but um, I'm trying to think. That's about all that I can. Uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of. Uh, about it. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, they're not, they are HO, and they're not, uh, I mean, 132nd has the same problem, if you're, I mean, there were times back in the 60s where none of the cars had magnets, it was all speed, it was all learning how to drive, I mean, now your hand throttles back in the 60s were much more sensitive, so you could, 
you could barely touch it and the car would move. Uh, the hand throttles aren't necessarily that good. Uh, um, now you could have some bad hand throttles that aren't giving you enough triggers uh, uh, capacity. Um, what's your right? And those are not; those are just basic, okay? And we're we're trying to get better hand throttles for better maneuverability. But sometimes uh, hand throttles can be bad, okay? And I will admit. What's your first name? Did you buy the set from me? You didn't buy it from me, Dennis. I'm really upset. Oh, who, who'd you buy it from? Oh, okay, Dad. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll have you. I'll have you. You'll be a. You'll be my customer for life. Okay. So hold on, Dennis. Let's see. I'm gonna send you some free hand throws, Dennis. Dennis the Menace. No, I'm just kidding. What's your last name? M I T C H. This is the last plate. Am I watching this and saving it? M O M M I T C H A E L. I can't wait. Oh, uh, Mandy said she's making potato soup for tomorrow. No. That's what she said. She's. I'm yeah, sorry. She you so you're coming here You tomorrow, guys are right? talking. You'll be here tomorrow, right? Mitch. You guys Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I know. Okay, so your address? He's a hot company. He's got a friend. He's a company. Now, Mandy says you need to pay him soon. Lake okay. Street. That one word. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. She told me she's gonna drink an apple pie a hundred times. I maybe had three of them. H E A R S T. I just joined the <coughs> boy who got scolded. Yeah, we we're in Ohio, Wayne, Ohio. What is that was about who got scolded. We're Amherst. Yeah, why does it sound like it's right next door? Oh, okay, yeah. All right, yeah, because we're on Route 6. You'd have to take Route 6 to get here. Shoot, where did I... No, we're about an, about an hour. You're about an hour away from us. Yeah, on Route 6. Just before Bowling Green. Got it. Hmm. Got it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you two hand throttles free of charge. All right? And, and this might fix the problem, and it might not. But uh, the... the they, they do have a tendency to be spotty sometimes because they're just entry level hand throttles and they're working. Auto World is working on a better hand to throttle, okay? And uh, those are going to be coming and uh, we're going to be getting other hand throttles course. too. So always check my website, protinkertoys.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, subscribe on our YouTube site, okay. subscribe on our Maybe website later. so you get all notifications when new cars soup. are coming out and all of our, our special deals that we're doing, okay? What do you think of that, huh? Yeah, that'd be a good idea because I just typed in my zip code. Four, wait a minute, four, four. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> yep. Got it. Going out today, okay? The straight treats uh, are nine ninety nine. You can get, you can get anything you want. Um, yeah, it comes two in a pack. Um, do you? Uh, um, all right, I'll put you on with my son. He'll take. He'll do this order, okay? Like Hold on one second. It. No, he's not doing anything, because that's what his job is for. Here. I don't know what I'm doing yet. To You're going to do some straight track. We need a... We need what? <laughs> let, me get his, let me get his hand throttles. Good, good. Do you have any customers? No, he's brand new customer. Uh, oh, he's working on that. Okay. Let me see. What's your... Let's get 
DHL. Australia. Yeah, let's see how fast that gets to Australia. DHL. Australia. Hey, how many... Do you have an inventory for this series of boxes? No, that's, uh, that's eBay. I already double-checked that. That's eBay? Okay. There's 11, correct? Correct. 11 model kits. So I don't I'll, have to I'll print. It. I'll print it up just to. Well, I'm just gonna. I just want to make, make sure, sure it's safe. What's your Fifteen inch. It's fifteen inch. It's a fifteen inch straight. You don't have a nine inch? Yeah. I'll... But he wants the fifteen. No, I know. He wants a nine inch too. That's because that's what we're talking about. But Does he want a nine inch too? There's a guy that's not on the phone that's trying to pipe in. Well, no, I'm just trying to make sure everything is correct. Guess what movie? Guess what? I would give you. Guess what movie? Gene will know. U of M or Gene will know. Sergeant, here it comes. York. What they say? Nobody. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Yes, you were correct. Yes. Did you get those pulled? Hit those extra hand throttles pulled? Yeah, they're right over there. See that we're taking more a care of a customer that didn't even buy from me. But now he's gonna be my customer hopefully forever. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be nice. Surprise right. Gene didn't jump on that. He must not be watching. There you go. Uh, let's see. Got that. Here are these tanks. Oh, yeah. Sergeant York, Tim Monk. Tim Monk got it. Sergeant York. Then Rod came in behind second place. Sergeant York. So we need to send out a special prize to Tim Monk. Get a special prize? Like some donuts or a Danish? Kong says, you guys are, uh, will you be getting gear wheel pushers and pulleys or pullers? I'd like to. Okay, and then uh, how does it show on the card, the name on the card? Hey, he says, I don't see pulleys on their site. I see a lot of people are using Lucky Bob's pullers. Yeah. What was that?
You've got your upgrade. Oh. Okay. What's the... Oh, so the very, very fastest car is actually from a different... Um, from a different... It's an AFX. They're a little expensive because they've actually got a kit in a couple of things. Um, but yeah, that's the... I don't want to hear it about my taping. You don't want to get it there safely and dry. I don't want to hear any grumbling. I use tape as a protectant seal, so I don't want to hear any crap. Yes, yep. You click on the cars and it should pop right up. Hey, thank you. It was a pleasure, uh, pleasure uh, helping you out. Yeah, you'll come and visit once we do our slot car fest. Oh, good, good. <laughs> no. All right. We'll catch you on the live stream, too. We're going right now, so. Just a moment. Yeah, go to, you can find us on the Facebook and then click our link. Oh, good, good. Yeah, go to that. I click on it and then there'll be a link to the YouTube channel. Awesome. We'll see you in a little bit then. Feel free to comment. We like all that. <laughs> all right. Bye. So, guys, um, when my shipment going to ship? I'm like, there's a pre-order. I don't get people sometimes.
Wow, these guys are very quick. I just got a text message that my order from Pro Tinker has already been shipped. I just placed my order less than an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Tommy C. Who? Tommy C. I get asked, where are you from, Tommy? I live in Florida. Well, here are the hand throttle. Oh, here it is. King Kong, just testing to see if this stands out to see if we can make it easier to any questions to the guys in the shop. Oh, they're not getting the questions answered fast enough. You know you can bend these over yep. when you want to put them in a box. Yep. AJ said, whose order is that 11 bookies? What is it? 11 bookies? Yeah, it means boxes. Oh, the tanks. Those are tanks. Those are the those are the mini tanks. I sell these things all the time. I sell them more on uh, eBay, but these are the mini tanks. You get two tanks per box. A great little model kit. And this is an assortment. You get 12 tanks. Or 11 tanks. You get 11 tanks. Pretty popular. Very popular. Let's say my Robo gear. I saw a ton of Robo gear. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh... You have to go? It's 1.30. I don't care. You have to take over on the, I, I, the comments. I can't read the comments. I, I find it funny. He's... he's. <laughs> you can't be leaving. You, you, get, you get here a little later, and I leave a little earlier, and I get here a little... No, it, 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 your sense. day is... It, it's a 12-hour day. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what, you, that's what it is for a business. He's, well, it it's not start, even one... It doesn't start by you by yourself. It starts as a team effort. <laughs> it's a team... Corporate effort. You don't come in by. I can say, well, okay, you guys okay, get I can say, I can, okay, I'm going to come in at four. And fine, just clean I'll up be and here. Do, and then I'm going to leave. That's fine. That's fine. That's not going to work. Tell me about it. I'm walking. Ah, look at it. You can't say come in early and just sit around and just fiddle <laughs> on your computer. Look at this. Fiddle around. This is the first time Tim's been on, on Brian's side. I'm always on his side. <laughs> He just never wants to accept it. You can't be going. What are you doing? Just trying to get that expandable table. Thing. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Gosh, I can't believe that you can leave me here. I know. I didn't. I don't understand it. I really don't. Uh, you, where, where do you have to go? I have to watch the kids. Bring them all here, even and guess, Kylie. Guess what? The future, though. Mandy normally works all day on Tuesday. Why don't you get a nanny? Can't you get a nanny? Yeah. See, money. he doesn't. He uh, doesn't. Honey. He doesn't get it yet. He he. The he, money you're pulling in just one day a week. <laughs> get Ruth. She drive over. Oh, Unbelievable. Goodness. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm leaving myself. No, I it, I, it, it, I I just Boy, don't I get it. Just shut down on Tuesday. Man. I I. I, you know, it's it's this the way these millennials are. They they think they deserve everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, they des they think they deserve it at twenty five. Yeah, we raised them really good, didn't we? Oh brother. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. You really you got seven right now. Four more. You've been yelling for seven years. It doesn't change a thing. Who hasn't changed a thing? They have. Oh brother, if you can't follow along, I ain't gonna explain it. Two pieces. Two pieces. One 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 one. Are these, wait a minute, come here and look at this with me, because this doesn't look right. Oh, two pieces, that one, two pieces, that one, but what are these hand throttles? Are they a freebie? What's that? Yeah, that's, yeah. Where's the label? Why am I doing this with no label? I don't know. This away. Oh, all right. I, I don't get it. I really don't. Yeah, I don't either. I'm kind of... This is early. part of the bit, guys. No, it is really not. That's what's so funny. Hey, is did that... you ever get James Murray's other order together? Uh, I, I... Ryan. Brian Young. Did you ever get James Murray's other order together? What other order? I don't know. I thought he said he had something to order yeah, with. Yeah, it is. How you doing? The tube with the... 
Okay, right, we gotta resolve this tomorrow. Yeah. Because I thought there was something else he had ordered or was coming. And we're gonna put this together. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow in the morning we'll Well, well I mean, what are, are you looking? What do you want? What do you wanting to do? Tell me what you want to hear about. How are we going to know that's true? Okay. Right, exactly. Unless they got this later. Well, we're, we're getting them in next week, actually. I'm going to restock. I do have uh, a bunch of... Uh, I have a bunch of... Uh, stock cards. I mean, have the stock cards. We got to get print crap. We can't wait for the orders. When somebody orders something, we got to send it. And then if they order something later in the afternoon... Then we send it again. I, I, we can't double up and sit and wait and because it's screwing everything up. It really does. It does. How do we know which one's which now? Well, I wrote this. This is empty. This guy put James signed print. Did you write empty on this one? Why would I put empty on? <laughs> All right. You guys have fun. Have fun. I'll miss you guys. Hey, what's up, King Kong? Uh, this weekend. First weekend off, King Kong. You know what I'm doing. Is paid by the hour or salary? Salary. That's right, Rob. Later. Later. No, I don't. I don't know what I get paid. I, don't I work from home too. He's a he's a nutcase. Give him hell, all right? I mean, give him heck, guys. Nice. Everybody's getting into it. Yes, exactly. Super International. Super International. Oh, wow. Those are nice sets. shipment coming in. Yeah, I'm here. Hold on one second. Hey, Brian, could you help UPS? I think I got my boxes coming in. Tim, could you help Brian with the boxes real quick? Thank you. We're busy. No, that's all right. You're the customer. You're the customer. That's what we're in business for is the customer. Yeah, we could, we could take the orders over the phone. All right. Yeah, that's it for the day. Uh, what is it that uh, comes here again? I just want to make sure I don't have anything. Oh, sorry. Okay, wait, we'll say that again. Yes, I have straights. I have straights, curves, everything you need. So you're just it for today? Yep. You want to be back like at 5, 435? Yes, except Sunday. So 
Well, no, not to watch the GPS. All righty, take it easy. Was well, he off today? Are right, he off today? Yes, he is. Got it. All right. <laughs> so this is. <laughs> I tell you, I don't understand this. This millennial, you know, they like, they want to have a full business, but they it putting in the time. It, I'm. I, I don't want, I'm not, I'm not upset. I just find it, you know, it, this owning a business is a 24 hour job. I'm just telling you, it's not, I, when I had Young's newsstand, Ryan literally slept in my newsstand. I took Ryan to Columbus every Wednesday to go pick up my comic books. Okay? I'm not mad. I just find it... I don't really care, honestly. I mean, I care, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Address here. 114 Center Street. 114 Center Street. How about 102 South Watson? How about 102 South Watson? Or 229 East Main? Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, thank you. you too. Yeah, you too hey, you know we need to get numbers up there. I didn't realize that. All right, well, I got the numbers at home. I'll let you do that tomorrow. That'll be your job. Right, I got a job for you. You're going to put numbers up on it. <laughs> Just kidding, Brian. That's not funny. Why do you pick on me? I'll him? do it because he always picks on me. You know... You know, I honestly don't understand. I, maybe it's just me. He's he's starting in a new job. It should be, this should be his main focus. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I, I well, you well you're wrong a lot. But Brian has to remember his wife works in the after, on Tuesday afternoon. He then he should have planned this out. He did. He told you. He's already planned. He told you. I know. Okay. So see, this is what I'm saying. They have no idea how it is to run a business. He just, Running a, okay, so what happened if I got sick? What happened if I got sick? Go ahead and do your see, business. see, then I get, then I'm the one. See, then he just, he shuts up. Like I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is what I'm saying. This is exactly what I'm saying. What happens if I got sick? What ha What would happen? What happened? What, what would happen? happen? What he would have happen? to be here twenty four seven. What would happen if you got sick? There. Oh, see, there, I'm not gonna. No. What would happen? See, I can't make every any comments ever I'm about anything because he will attack me. <laughs> Followers do it. I'm just asking. You, what would happen? Well, he would. He would realize. No. What? Yo. If you got sick, what would happen? What? What would happen? See, you're, you're not even listening. You're, I, you're, I just, just, I'm asking you a question. What do you, you think answer. would happen if I got I've sick? I've asked you the question and answer. What would happen? I asked you the question. I asked you the question. <laughs> Good grief. This is going nowhere. It makes no sense. Uh, Let's see what, what's this? Mandy, oh, Mandy Young. Mandy, Ryan gave you a schedule. Yeah. Well, that schedule means nothing if all of a sudden I get sick. This is his new job. This is his new full-time job. Medication time. Yep, see, it's my fault. You know what? I don't care. You know, if it goes to the... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh Mandy's in the house. And man, Ryan works all evening and night at home. Yes, he does, Mandy. Well, you know what? I work 20... Uh, I don't want to hear all it. all work. King Kong says he'll send cards and flowers. <laughs> yeah, why doesn't he? <laughs> if you get sick... He's gonna send you cards and flowers. I am. I'm just. I can just get sick and just won't come in for a week. 
It's okay, bro. I let then it she... let it all out. We're here. Well, no, I just you know hey, AJ. Here's AJ. It's okay, bro. I let it all out. We're here for you. No, it's just it's just they they don't understand what it is to own a business. To own a business yourself, there you have no private time. Period. Mark, I never did. Oh. Every business I had, I didn't have any private time. I worked 24-7. I worked 24-7. Man, he said, pay, pay him more and we'll work it yeah, out. Yeah, see, that? then they, they all want more. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Unbelievable. Oh, that's right. Man, he says, you don't believe in sicknesses. Right. So it doesn't matter. Oh, JJ goes, this is it, guys. Grab your popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just find it funny. I, I, I guess I'm the only one, I, and that's the way it is. But, but, but see, nobody's had four businesses. Nobody has opened four businesses like I have, and that's why they fail. Okay, so, you know, that's the way they fail, okay? Wait a minute. Are you saying your four businesses failed? I'm confused. No, no, that's why businesses fail, because oh. people don't put 120%. Well, how did four businesses fail if you opened up four I businesses? I didn't put four. I just said that's why businesses fail is because people don't put 100% into it. You mean you didn't put 100% into it? I put business? 100%. None of my businesses failed. Well, then, why, well, then why'd you move out? He's a chameleon like there is never ever. I tell you, it is amazing. He would have not survived one minute in the Navy or any military. I can tell you that right now. Oh, brother. Here we go. Oh, here we go. There he goes. AJ said, Here we go. Here we go. Let's get the popcorn. Oh. <laughs> I can't take it. Uh, you can't ever take anything. You know that that's the problem. Oh, I'm just glad I'm here to help. I'm just glad I'm here to help. <laughs> Unbelievable. Adam help me. I'm getting pudgy. I gotta day tomorrow. It's going to be a good day. Man, Mandy's making potato soup tonight for us. Or for me. Potato soup. Yum, yum. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put this in the box. Boy, I wish I... <laughs> I love potato soup. You like potato soup? <laughs> oh. That's right, he just left, so that's it for the day. He won't be back. Man, I wish I had a... That's weird, isn't it? So I wish I had a six-hour day. I'm still used to this 4.30, uh... 4.35 routine. Guys, 
inside with it. Or coffee or green tea. It's my dream car. Yeah, I like those cars. I, I want to own one of these. SCX cars. Those are all, all back in the system. All of the inventories are correct. The ones that weren't in the system, I put in the system. Um, uh, so there is a bunch of new stuff on the site. All right, great. Thank you very much. Did you have a uh, label for DM, uh, Dennis Mitchell or just made for payment? Is it boxed up? Yep, it's all ready. I mean, it's, oh, do you need to wait on it? That's a big box. Well, it's because of that long track. It's the famous tracks, 1886. Plus the two controllers, plus the other track. Never mind. So I could try in this. Let me try in this. 
Nah, just leave it alone. Because I could do two, I might be able to do two tracks and the controller's flat on that. It would have been easier if I just enveloped it but, or something, but the controllers are a part of it. Oh, they're calling you a slot father. Get it? Godfather, slot father. Be careful, Jim. The slot father will have a sea container drop on you. Welcome to Huntington. O para servicio en español, marque nueve. To look up your account with us, please key in or say your social security or tax identification number. If you want to locate a credit, we'll look that.
Brian Young. Okay, well, guys, I think that's it for today. I hope everybody have a good day. And, um... I had one, um... Oh, shoot, what was that? See if you can guess who, uh... Says this. Robert, there are a lot of new SCX items on the website today. Already ordered one. I might pick up something else. Yeah, we've been trying to update our system. I mean, how many could... Hi, Mr. Brian. I'm wondering how I could purchase one of the 55 Bel Airs from you. Brian tried... Brian tried today. Any special orders? Tired. And a lot of new SCX items on the website. Guess who says this? Hey, Brian, this is AAA. We will help you when you are sick, but you need to be within 30 feet from the road in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that from, you think? I don't know. Adam. <sighs> oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, Sebastian, yeah. Wonder how can I purchase one of those 55 shelves? Well, we're, we're going to be taking orders, um, and not a lot, because we don't have that many, but uh, a week before the delivery of the... Once we know all the ones that we've taken orders for, uh, then we'll know how many we have left, and we can do a special on those. Um... I gotta get something to eat. I haven't eaten. I just said, you said a couple little a week, a month ago. He said, I, I was there. There's no toaster down here. And I go, why would I say there's no toaster? That's what I'd like to know. Well, but I, that's okay. I don't no, know. I mean, what would I do with a toaster? I thought, well, you toast bread or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't you. I, I can't. I was trying to think what I would use it for. Because I've never had toast, even in the morning here. Yes, you don't use toast. Well, I suppose I can start using it or trying it. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I can deal with anything except for my millennial son that wants to be at home more than his business.
And I'm the hardy one. You know what I had to do this? No, I'm not going to go there. Every time I lost my job, I I did things. I don't know how, but they just appeared. I had to live in Michigan for what was it, January, February, almost well, four months until I got my job with Irwin Toy. I'd drive, on Sunday night, I'd drive up to Michigan. I lived with my pastor, Jeff Davison, and I built houses on the weekday, Monday through Friday, and then on Saturday, I'd come home for the weekend. Kathy was going to school, so I don't know how she did it. I don't know how we did it. <laughs> I had my mom, so I mean, we left the kids with mom. Then I went with Irwin Toy, and I was on the road all the time. I was visiting the, every hobby store in the country. Good afternoon, guys. I'm just telling, I'm just giving you my story. I mean, the audio went out yesterday and you were talking about the 132nd the new 132nd track at the shed right tell us about it because they didn't i guess they didn't yeah i'm gonna do a video later on tonight when we get back to the because we're uh i'm gonna be doing a 132nd scale track uh on my new l-shaped table for 132nd so we can start pumping that up more. And then I want to do on the big square what I want to do a, a 143rd scale layout also. I know a lot of people do like my 132nd. But when I get it going, people are really going to like it. I can only do so much. <laughs> you know? I mean, I can't, I can't run a whole business by myself. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Adam said, oh, good. A night uh, video. Now I don't have to watch my wife's crap. Ha <laughs> ha. What timing.
you want me to save that uh, printer box, right? I don't need it. I'm not going to keep it. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of this printer. No, I know what's wrong with the audio guide. When I get into my... Adam Hurt is right. When I get into my Mini Cooper, the audio goes from my phone right to the uh, uh, Mini Cooper, inside the Mini Cooper. So if I get out of the Mini Cooper, the audio is still in the Mini Cooper. And I forget to click it off on my phone. That's why you can't hear me, because you're hearing me from the car. I'm telling you, that's it right there in a nutshell. I got to go get something right now. The fly sticker looks new. That's an old sticker. I gotta put a sticker on that. And we'll do that too. It's not, it's a, uh, oh, just a um, product. I need to get a the thing with jigger on it, the track thing, or yeah. the whatever thing. Thing, yeah, the thing. <laughs> Can we have a cookie? <laughs> Is it cookie time? Oh my gosh! I'm having my lunch. Do you mind? I, I, it, whenever I eat, it's it's a big deal. <laughs> but he can talk about lunch all day long. Tomorrow we're going to have potato Look soup. That, see? I, what do we have for dinner? I can't wait for potato soup. Stir fry. I'm making stir fry tonight. Oh. You don't have to eat it. You know what? <laughs> Oh. I have to go to the post office. But I didn't know. All right. Done deal.
when I had Young's newsstand, I I worked that from seven to sometimes on weekends nine o'clock. I worked till nine. And he can never side with me, my brother. Never, ever. I, I don't know if it would hurt his feelings, but he never can side with me. That's the problem in life. Great men ha are lonely. This guy didn't put his full address. Unbelievable. You know what our problem is in this country? We have too many laws. You gotta, you gotta get a permit for this and a permit for that. Yep. What's for? I'm having a peanut butter jelly sandwich, potato chips, and you walk to work uphill both sides. No. All I'm saying is this, is that when you own a business, when you own a business, and it's yours, you're, you're, it's basically a, a child. It's it's 24-7. What a healthy lunch. Peanut butter and jelly. AJ, that's the way I eat. I, you know, I don't know. I don't drink. I hate the taste of alcohol.
I never smoked my entire life until I was 40 or 50. I, and now I like to have cigars once in a while. Nowadays, everything is a this or that. Hey, you can't do this. Can't do that. But the ones telling you that are the ones that are doing it. Go figure that. Kind of quiet day today. You know, when I opened up Young's newsstand back in 1987, I had projected that I, I needed to make five, have $500 a day. That's what I wanted to do in sales, $500 a day, okay? And the first two months that I was opened, I was doing $70 a day. I literally cried at night. I didn't think I was going to stay in business. And then I can, I can remember the day I was standing in my store and my magazine guy comes in, the guy that I buy all my magazines from, because I was a newsstand. And I, I kind of was choking up and I, I, I almost I had tears in my eyes. And he, and, he, and he looked at me and said, Brian, you cannot survive only on selling magazines. You're going to have to get other things. And then my brother-in-law, um, uh, Alan Bench, said to me that you can't sell from an empty cart because the store looked bare. I mean, it looked... And then after that, I, 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 I would get... I would, I would carry anything and do anything to make a sale. I don't care what it is. I got I got video game machines in because I noticed a lot of kids coming in for my candy. And so I got video games in. I ripped out a wall. I kept pushing the wall back. All right, imagine this old downtown store. It was a, you know, maybe 20, 30 feet, 25 feet wide. It used to be an old Montgomery Wards catalog. And there was a wall after about 20 feet, and then the back was their huge warehouse. I kept knocking walls down. And then I got video game machines in that. Gosh, that was like a gold mine. I was making like, he would come in with and, and empty all my quarters and we would split it 50 50. I would get, you know, like it was like 200. It was like instant cash. It was just. And, um, and then the next thing that I started uh, selling because I was ordering like 10 dozen donuts a day and I had 10 dozen donuts at the, at the end of the day. I was selling no donuts. I said, well, I'm going to deliver donuts. So I put an ad in the Sentinel saying, we deliver donuts. And I hired a guy named Rudy. I said, Rudy, I'll give you a dollar a dozen. You di di uh, deliver these, a dollar a dozen. And we were delivering 50 that. He was, he was delivering 20, 30 dozen a day. That's another thing that took off. Then I was selling coffee and donuts and, and the bankers would come down and one of the bankers said, you need to have tables and chairs so we can sit down. So I went to the bank and said, I need $1,000 to buy 10 tables and 50 chairs. Well, we need collateral. That's how useless the banks were. So I bought tables and chairs. That was over with. Then I started selling hot dogs during lunch. I had hot dogs and chili. 
And my tuna sandwich is the best tuna. I mean, I made the best tuna you could possibly. I had a special recipe that I, I made. And um, I, I was selling tuna and, and hot dog because my mom made the chili. We were selling hot dogs like crazy. So that was another thing that I, I was uh, uh, love of the stores. And then I got into comic books. The first comic book I sold was Magic the, uh, the Killing Joke. I sold about 50 of them. And I go, oh, my gosh, how much money could I make here? And I started, I just jumped in full bore. I carried every comic book you could possibly imagine. Graphic novels. The biggest one that I sold, I must have sold 500 copies of The Death of Superman. 500 copies at $5. And then, matter of fact, that day I was, see, I was lucky because I had a television in my store. And I was always watch the news all the time. And so I was kind of, I was one head or one step ahead of all my competitions because I saw they all of a sudden the death of Superman was huge on the TV. I said, I called my distributor that minute when I saw that TV and I said, I need 500 copies of Batman, the death of Superman. They said, okay, we'll get them right to you. Then they were sold out because then it was on television. Good morning, America, everything. And then everybody was coming in my newsstand. Hey, do you have the death of Superman? Yeah, I got one right here. Then I watched another thing. This was in 91, 92, the uh, Pogs, which were flipping little caps and everything. I sold a ton of that stuff. I sold so much of that stuff, it was sickening. Everything I was, I always would watch on TV. I'd kind of catch to see what was going to happen. Then I got into Games Workshop. Man, I made a ton of money on that. That paid my games workshop paid basically uh uh that paid the birth of Daniel, Derek, Lincoln, and Catherine. Games workshop. Pogs, I sold so many pogs. It I I mean, I I had parents coming in just giving me their money, just giving me their money for a, a slammer that was a piece of steel. I, I ran all the tournaments in the area. I went to all the malls and did all the tournaments. What I'm getting at is that I would do anything or find any way to sell in my store and make money on it. <laughs> but it was a 24-7 job. We had four kids. Kathy would usually come down for lunch and run the store for me for an hour while I'd go back and have lunch once in a while. I'd take Ryan. Ryan was about two years old. I'd take Ryan down to Columbus and get my comic books because I wanted to be a day ahead of all my competition. See, comic books would come out on a Wednesday. They'd pack them and then they'd ship them to all their different comic book stores throughout the area. Well, I realized that, hey, I could go down on Wednesday at noon and pick them up and I could be back by three o'clock on Wednesday and have them on sale on Wednesday and be ahead of everybody by a day. Boy, did that really help. My cat, my comic book sales went through the roof and then it all crashed right after the death of Superman. They started printing 2 million copies of this and that. That was the death of uh, comic books. Then Games Workshop, man, I like I said, Games Workshop was a gold mine. Then I I just got tired of Young's Newsstand. A guy came to me and said, hey, we open up a, a, a collectible store, and I, I love opening stores. So I said, sure, I'll do that. That was in 1986. Almost third. Oh, oh, no, 1986. Let's see, 86. No, 1996. I'd have been 40. I was 38. 38 years old.
I was always doing something for money. I put a paper in when I lost my job. I put an ad in the paper, a handyman. I was building things, just building people's things. <laughs> AJ, I'd like to meet you, AJ. Hopefully, if we have our big slot car fest, you can fly out from Indonesia to our little town of Wayne. And you can watch some movies out nights outside in the nice summer sky of Ohio. He's from Malaysia. Isn't that what I said? Oh, Indonesia. That's right. No, yeah, Malaysia. My dad always says, if you have a job skill, you will always have a job. That is exactly right. That's exactly right. But that's exactly right. And it's kind of, uh, I don't know if I got, if it was uh, born into me or, I mean, my dad was, you know, into retail, into the refrigeration system. And my grandpa, Burley, he had a, he basically had an old general store in Kirksville, Ohio. So, you know, I, I guess maybe I got a little bit of, from him too, I suppose. Um, uh, from my grandpa, uh, Burley, I never really knew him that much. Grandpa Burley, Ralph, I did. Grandpa Ralph and my uncle Dallas. Uncle Dallas was a unique guy. He he loved to play golf, and he always dressed uh, a certain way. He he um he had I mean bright red hair. I mean he he was a redhead just like his sister, my grandma Dixie. But he'd always dress proper, and I'm and I'm trying to give a picture of what he looked like. Um, um, some actor that you could identify with. And the closest guy I could say is the guy that played in the Forbidden Planet, the major, it, he had red hair in reality. Um, and I suppose that would be the closest guy to uh, uh, Dallas. And Dallas would take me a couple times golfing and he would come out and help. See, my grandpa Ralph had a stroke back in like 71, 72, 73, I think. I think it was more towards 72 and 73. He had a stroke. And so Dallas would come over and help Grandma Dixie with the farm. And then they sold the farm around 77, 78 when I went in the Navy. They sold the farm and moved down to in town of, of Crooksville. So that all changed. But uh, just kind of spilling the beans here. Spilling the beans, baby. Spilling the beans. Uh, let's see here. I got another order of Race Masters in. Man, we've been selling so many Race Masters cars. Whew, boy, I was almost out of some of my cars. I said, you know what? I might just reorder them. A lot of guys won't won't do that, you know? A lot of guys will. Here, let me show you something here. So this is what most retailers will do, okay? I'm going to give you some little tips. It's it's risky and it and it takes money. You got to spend money to make money, okay? And you you can't sell from an empty cart, okay? All right, so here's here I'm telling you right now, here's the mindset. You go to into hobby some hobby stores and if they're like this, walk right out. Okay, so right here, are some here's my auto world. Okay, now right here, I've got two of these left. Oh, this is the this is the uh, Peugeot. Okay, and I've got I've got three of these. Okay, I've got three left of these. All right, and then I'm completely out of this one, but I have a lot of these up here. Look, see, 
All these I have plenty of. So most retailers would go, oh, I can't buy any more. I can't buy any more. Let me just keep this, okay? Because I've got to sell this before I can buy more of this. Well, you know what? This is why stores go out of business. Walmart has a philosophy. Do you know what the philosophy is? Keep all the shelves completely stocked. Hear that? Completely stocked. Okay. It's and and I, I know it. And and you, you want to you, you want to keep a shelf completely full. That's their philosophy. That's why Kmart's out of business. That's what's why Sears is out of business, because the stupid management company had no idea how to do retail. Oh, we can't buy any more. We got a bunch of. The you got to keep your shelves completely full, like this car right here. I got to have every car. When somebody goes to my website, every car needs to be listed. That's why these right here. Let me show you something. Let me show you a dog. Let me show you a series that that I thought, boy, Brian, you really screwed up here. You bought too many of these. Now these are hotter than 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 snot on a horse's nose. Is this flame series? I am so glad that I bought 10 cases now because these are selling like crazy, especially this one here, the Willie's custom panel. Check that baby out. Or the or the Corvette. Okay. I'm just telling you, this is what I've learned in just one year. And I'm I'm giving I'm not giving trade secrets. I'm not I'm not telling you something you don't really you need to know. I'm just I'm story time. This is story time. You know, I'm tired. I'm frustrated. Oh, I've got a neck, kink in my neck. This is another series. SC SC349. Dodge Charger, the Corvette, Chevy Corvette, the Chevy El Camino, the El Camino sold completely out within one month. Okay. I got 10 cases of this stuff. Story time is fun, Brian. Keep going. I bought 10 cases of these cars. Okay. I had more of these I'm uh, uh, AMX cars than I thought I'd ever sell. Well, you know what? I'm down to now. I'm down to like 10 blue ones or black green ones. I'm completely sold out of 80% of that series. I I had so many of these Corvettes. These Corvettes right here. I don't have any of them. I mean, I have six, maybe seven Corvette cars. Dodge Chargers. <laughs> Honestly, at the old bank or at the old building or at the workshop, I had boxes of these things. They're all gone. The Night Riders. This thing right here. Do you know how many of these I bought? <laughs> I bought 1,800. 1,800. Okay, at a good price, at a nice price, which helped fuel all of this. The profit that I made on these cars right here, on these two cars, or I'm sorry, all three of these, the profit on these three cars is what got me this whole building right here. This whole bank, just on this profit here. I'm just bearing, I'm just telling you the stories. I'm just telling you how this all got, came to be. Okay, that's why it's so exciting. And now I have less than <laughs> I have less than a hundred of these. The green AMX. Well, it's not a green one, it's this one right here. The purple. Well, they're on order. Go ahead and order. These are the these are the SC 349s. I only have these are the last these are the only two right here. Well, I mean I have more. But this is a black one and a and a, a blue one with a red red stripes. I mean, I could go on with all these series. I could go on and on and on. And I've learned. I've learned now. It's great. I've learned to order ten cases.
that now I have to order any, any, any of from maybe five to 10 cases. Okay. And how long will it take me to sell? Who cares? It's an investment. It's an investment because I'll, I, I will, everybody else will run out and I'll have them. So that means, that means they'll, they'll customer, see a customer, they look at this wall here. They look at this wall of auto world right here. This is what I've said from the very beginning. And, and maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Most retailers, and I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of retailers will never carry this amount of auto world. So if a customer comes in and goes, hey, I got a line here. Can you get me this Dodge Charger? The retailer is going to say, nope, can't do that. You know why he can't? Because he's not buying in case quantities. Never going to happen. Never going to happen. You're not going to go to a hobby town USA and see this many cars. Not going to happen ever. <laughs> and you know why? Because they're not seeing, they're only thinking RC. See, see, most hobby stores are, are singly focused on RC cars. That that's the only money that they're going to make is RC cars, which is 10%, 10 to 20%. So they're investing they're investing at least, I'm going to say, a million dollars of inventory on a 20 to 30% gross margin. When, if they had a vision, they would invest maybe 50-50 on slot cars and get customers to buy slot cars. Just like we've done here. We have got people to buy slot cars. Get them excited into slot cars. That's why, let me go here, over here. That's why another thing, let me show you this. This is another thing that you'll never see in a hobby store. Well, obviously you won't see in a hobby store because most hobby stores don't have a vault, okay? But you're never gonna see this amount of sets in a hobby store. You see all these sets? California Cruising, great set, okay? Zombie set. Probably my favorite set of all these sets, the zombie set. Next one would be the off-road set. Transamerica. Okay. Indianapolis. Okay. St Stock car challenge. Okay. My point is this. Here's my point. <laughs> is that... Retailers would never, they, they would look at these quantities. You got 15, you've got 15 California cruising sets. Are you crazy? I might have bought two. Well, that's why your margins are so screwed up. That's why you're spending a million on, on RC and only making 20% profit when you could have Auto World and then make a better margin. I'm just telling you. Yes. $39.99? Yeah. Okay. I'm just telling you that these are the facts, okay, of having a retail for over, been in retail for over 40 years. I have been. Well, maybe 35. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just my little story there. Little story time, just little story time. I know you like my story times. And uh, I think we're gonna, what time is it? Three o'clock? Well, I think that's, uh, we've had a good day today, wouldn't you say? How many, we've got 39, oh, we got 39 thumbs up. We got 34 views, 33 views. We've had a great show today, I think. A little boring. On the cuff, two more hours to go. No, Adam, I'm not going two more hours, okay? I'm watching soccer with Brian, commenting here, LOL. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so my Race Master orders is in. They're going to ship it probably tomorrow. I'll have uh, guide shoes and uh, 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 tune-up kits for Race Masters. 
There is only one reason I'm in. What time is the show tonight you were talking about? Oh, you know, um, probably after dinner, probably from like uh, six to seven or maybe seven to eight, just an hour. I'm just going to do an hour show of, of what I'm going to do with my layout. I just thought I'd give you that. Happy Groundhog Day, guys. Thanks a lot for watching today. Everybody um, have a wonderful evening. Be safe. See you later.